I am dressed up to go ice skating. This is my first time like kind of getting back on track with it. I have a friend who's going to kind of catch me up to where she is. I haven't ice skated since I was like 11, but I still have some of the mechanism down, like the muscle memory, believe it or not. And it's almost 9 a.m. right now, it's really early. I kind of feel like I'm at school again, having to get up this early, but it's okay, you know, drink some coffee and get over it. All right, so I'm in the subway and I'm about to transfer. Guess who went the wrong way? Wrong direction. I asked the person on the train if this was the right direction. I thought it was a girl. And then a really deep voice came out. And I was like, oh, I was just shocked. I hope they didn't see it in my face. Like literally nobody is here. Oh my God, this is scary. I don't like when this happens because whenever it's empty like this, bad things happen. Like there's probably a hobo hiding in the corner, ready to jump out. There's literally nobody here. I don't even know what to do in this situation. Like, I've never been trained for this. Like, growing up, my mom was always with me when I went around New York. I never, like, I never went on the trains by myself as a kid in New York. Then I moved to Connecticut. And then after I moved to Connecticut, when I came back to New York, I didn't know how to ride the trains because I never went outside by myself in my life in New York. My mom just kept me confined to the Prospect Park area, basically. So, as an adult, I had to learn how to ride the trains. So nobody's ever told me how to correctly ride them and the safety precautions and stuff as a woman that you have to know. My grandma did tell me though, that you're supposed to stay on like one of the sides, but I don't know what you're supposed to do when you're completely alone. Like there's no women to like gravitate towards. That's usually what I do. Oh, here's one coming up. Time is 9 35, my last moments alive. It was a mediocre life. Look at this. Look how big my feet are. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Pretty average. Pretty average New York train station. You know, disgusting. Hasn't been cleaned in like a hundred years. Rats hiding, waiting for someone to litter. Train being late and off schedule. Like, pay two thousand dollars to be here. Let's take a selfie with the rats. I need to move out of here. I need to go to Texas. anyway even though they see me running like they literally could wait it half of one second instead of injuring my arm but I wasn't about to wait another 10 minutes so I shoved my arm in the door so they couldn't close it and they had to open it again so yeah now my arm's red and it hurts but at least I'm not late to ice skating just New York things Um, why? Why? Oh, okay. Guys, I'm not joking. I had a freak accident. I went on the 
and it skipped like five stops. And yes, I just found out there's such thing as an express for this one. But the thing is, it's not supposed to be running right now. And it literally skipped. Like I'm 30 streets ahead of where I'm supposed to be right now. Like not walkable at all. That's like three miles. And my ice skating thing is in 20 minutes. So, you know, like I said, as per usual with New York, trains on schedule, not going where they're supposed to go. And then on top of that, before I got off, this weird guy was asking me if I had Instagram. This is the second time this happened this week. Why are people walking up to me there is, and asking uh, if I have an Instagram? Can someone tell me? Street, I don't get it. Yard. Oh my god. This is kind of stressful. Please god, please let this be the last train. My heart can't deal with this no more. It's not that bad walking in New York because so much weird stuff happens here that you doing this, like recording and talking, isn't even like that crazy compared to what actually happens around here, like relative to what happens around here. I keep trying to ask this, but the, there's so many loud sounds. Every time I try to talk, there's magically a loud sound trying to mute me out. Can someone please tell me why people keep approaching me and asking for my Instagram? Because I genuinely don't understand what their end game is. Like I get they're trying to creep, but I don't really get like what the method of asking my Instagram does. Is it so they can stalk me or is it because they're like pretending that they have a following and that they'll promote me? Like, I don't really get it. But anyway, let me know in the comments. <laughs> can you, can he not? Like, I'm not a hooker, don't fucking honk at me. Anyway. Not like I wasn't expecting that today. Cause you know, I'm so perfect and beautiful. Doesn't give them an excuse to be assholes and harass them. I just want to give you guys, girls watching a piece of advice. What helps, it doesn't do it 100%, but I would be getting a lot more trouble if I weren't doing this. So what you want to do when you're walking in the city, because there's a street harassment epidemic here. I know other people that aren't from here probably think I'm lying and they don't get it but any girl from New York please verify in the comments how bad it is like god forbid you wear a pair of shorts in the summer like it's over your day is ruined you're gonna get harassed non-stop anyway piece of advice though carry pepper spray in your hand like don't put it in your purse don't put it in your pocket like carry open in your hand as you're walking around because it will deter a lot of the people that would have harassed you and it makes it so you're prepared if you do need to use it and you're not like you know like fumbling in your bag so yeah that's just some girl to girl advice looks like i'm gonna make my appointment so that's good we did it after all don't mind me basking in the glory that i did something a functional human being would do. I literally have to applaud myself for doing like basic survival things. It's like if you cooked yourself a meal and breathed and then you were like applauding yourself. That's basically me. Honestly girls, if getting a concealed carry or open carry is legal where you are, you should do it. Guns are literally pro women. They're the equalizer. Put on a mask. My body, my choice. I'm not sick. Why do I have to put this on? Ugh. Fence? Fence? Yes. Look forward. Good. Bend your knees.
you. This is who's teaching me. This is at my friend Ash. Hi. Do you want to give out your Instagram or? Um, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you for teaching me today. Yeah, of course, of course. She's so good at ice skating, guys. Only, only, no, I'm not a coach. <laughs> only been skating for fun for four years. Oh yeah, that, basically being a swan on ice, that's no, just no, casual. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Someday. Good. Beautiful. get a side by side of me doing it it'll look like a duckling compared <laughs> let's do the inside first inside yes you got it yes 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 you can you can have a smaller circle just yes yes that's exactly it yes yes yes, yes. That's actually really impressive for a first. Yes. Good. All right, I'm done ice skating. The people here are so amazing at skating. It's crazy.